got the home turn. A huge prospect for 2023. Lentz Maverick is now stretching this field and, uh, well, 8 to 11 bus maybe should have been 1 to 10. This mega team makes the Northern Flag. 1 and 2 towards the line. It's going to be close. 2 and 1. Flash pass together. Freedom Alibi and infield Trojan. It's going to be a Tom Hellebron 1 2. But in which order? Congratulations, Tom Hellebron. Hello and welcome back to vlog number three at Link Kennels YouTube. I'm Ben, the man behind the camera, and I'll be taking you through the last week's action and race results for the kennel. We are going to start at Newcastle last Thursday, the 6th of July, where nine dogs went to track a couple of close calls, but 741, Timmy's Penny in trap one. Got the job done for the kennels and owners, Mel and Bill. Odds on favourite, Timmy's Penny, and trap one gets away okay, and a good line going to the bend, Timmy's Penny up the rail, and long vehicle, trap three, out a bit wide, and got a bit close actually, and the six droopies odds on, was forced out very wide, Slippy Ghost was hampered as well, second last down the far side, where Shockwave Taboo has moved up third. The end of the second half of the race, and it's Timmy's Penny, trap one leads by about three lengths, long vehicle, still in pursuit, then Shockwave Taboo, followed by the four Slippy Ghost, droopies odds on's never been going at the back, and Timmy's Penny still in front, has made the running all the way, starts to finish wins well one two maybe three for third a lovely run there by timmy's penny winning as an odds on favorite should for the kennels getting us off to a good start on the week followed up on friday with two runners on the card both for owners dane and mark and freedom image got the job done in the 309 on track five in the handicap getting himself in a nice pitch down the back early on. He took it up at the third bend with smarts to go inside and ran on nicely. That leads us nicely on to Oxford Saturday night, the long awaited return of the Pal Mal where the team sent down four runners from the northeast. Those included Doug Gaster, Vlog One's feature, the winner of the sprint at Derby final night. Nick Stasher, impressive winner at Sunderland last week. Freedom Epic, who is a multiple cap one finalist himself. And of course, none other than the Maverick, Link's Maverick, anti-post favourite, returning to action. It did not take long for Lynx Maverick to put his stamp down on this competition. First heat, first out of boxes, first across the line, 26-52 track record. It did not take long to spread across Twitter what he had just done. What a phenomenal run. Here he is, after the race, looking like he's ready to go again. A couple of races later, Link Stasher would follow Lynx Maverick into next week's last 24, coming second in his heat. 
but unfortunately it wasn't to be for Dub Gaster and Freedom Epic who both miss out. So we're just getting back from Oxford um, tonight. We've had four in the Pall Mall. It's just after quarter to two in the morning. We left the kennels at half past 11 this morning, so quite a long day, but a long successful day. We we took the team of four to the to the Pall Mall. We've come back with two qualifiers. Um, Links, Links Maverick and Links Dasher both qualified. Dasher qualified in second, taking nothing away from him. He ran, ran really well. Um, and and Links Maverick has smashed the track record, so he's an absolutely exceptional run from the dog. Uh, as you can see, he's, he's happy as can be down there. He's come out the race really, really well. All being well if he checks out tomorrow. Um, I'd like to think there's a little bit more to come from this dog. He, he really did do it, do it well from the boxes. He, he smashed this sectional track record, and he also smashed the uh, the 450 track record. So he, he did it well tonight, and I think there's quite a bit more to come from him. In all honesty, I think he's probably a week or two from from the peak. And yeah, successful night for the kennels to get two through. Uh, so this lad smashing the track record was uh, the icing on the cake. On to the final meeting of this vlog then. That was Sheffield on Tuesday the 11th. Team of four headed over to try and take three races between them. And Tom posted his thoughts on Twitter. We've got Lynx Top Gun and Linear's debut taking each other on in um, the Six Bend event. Decent trap draws, both on the rails, and Top Gun would, would be looking to dominate the race from, from the off. The 660 will probably stretch him, um, but it isn't the strongest race in the world. And off by Garrett Sheffield for the uh, 709. Mix Top Gun, then expected, is the one who uh, gets away best, and he'll take out that first turn then with a couple of events of advantage. Alina's debut, so expected the two market leaders dominating here as they slide into the judge and head off on their second circuit. Battle of the third spot, the moment been won by the white jacket and three, he's getting the better of his kennel mate, uh, Sharp is Rugrat. Now, Lynch Top not quite put this racer to sleep yet, has he? Because Alina's debut is not going down without a fight. Putting up a big fist here off the final corner. It's still links at Top Gun at the moment. You can't quite bridge the gap back in second place. And up towards the line, links Top Gun worked hard but got there. One was second, three, and the end's were a cracker, isn't it? Finishing in third, wasn't beaten that far. We've got Romeo to victory making the debut for the kennel. He just came from Harry Burton's kennels. Um, he's in good order. Last time out, he, he ran well enough at Sunland, um, just getting beat ahead. And if, if he could re reproduce that sort of early pace, um, he'd have half a chance in this sprint event. He hasn't been round Sheffield, which is a worry, but if he takes the track, he's certainly capable of, of uh, getting himself involved in this event. Race, and away they go. They go in towards that uh, first turn, then it is six out deep in the track, then from five. And then he got to two and four, running around the uh, final corner. Six here at a bit of a price though. Now then Chanuk up on the inside then, running up towards the line. It's going to be five just from six, four back in third. Let's jump from tops it up. All over the first. race we've got Dan's Delight um, over the, the 660. He's a massive fan of the track. He won the, um, the Queen Mother Cup round here. He could could have done with a better draw. He's drawing four so he'll have to rock up the boxes to get across. But when he sort of clear run um, he's got to go close. He's, he's a, as I say, a massive fan of Sheffield and with any sort of Unfortunately Darby's got himself into a bit of trouble at first bend and couldn't recover to get back in the race. So no trouble on the night, but a nice couple of winners in Lynx Top Gun. All owners Tom and Kevin, and Romeo to victory for owner Kennel Hand Caitlin, who walked in, and her boyfriend Ross. That's all we've got for this week. 
thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do like and share us on Twitter pages. Get this vlog out there. We'll have more content coming very soon.